welcome to the next session in this session you will go through the data types in system will look quickly so these are the values that's in system will look so 0 1 1 are well known for you so 0 represent a logical 0 either or a false condition and 1 represents a logical 1 or a true condition and there are two more additional values it's in system will look which are x and c so x a capital x or small x represent an unknown logical value and capital Z or small z represent a high embedded state and all of them can be uh, represented in a logic type cube logic type variables that means if you're de declaring a variable as of type logic then it will be a four state variable and it, it can hold all of these value set here is an approximated list of data types in system we love so that means you can declare variables of any of these types so you can declare an integer type variable a real type variable a string type variable an event type variable and so on so those are integer and real string event user defined data types and enums structures unions and classes so first is integer and real so you have already seen the value sets are like 0 1 x and c and the integer and real variables could be either of two state variables or four state variables so it, it, two state variables means it can only hold values 0 or 1 and it can never hold a value x or z in simulation so and a four state variable means those are the variables which can hold all these four value sets and you can see the unknown values or high impedance value in simulation bit and int are two two state variable type and logic register reg integer and time are four state variables so if you declare a variable as integer it will it it will be a four state variable but if you declare a variable as int it will be a two state variable and also you can use the sign signed and unsigned keyword if you wanted to declare signed and unsigned um, variables like int unsigned or insigned so the unsigned number will hold only values from zero to its high maximum value a signed variable can hold negative numbers as well next is string data type so it's an important data type especially in um, verification coding if you declare a variable as string it can hold a number of characters in that so it is just equal to a built-in it's a just built-in data type you don't need to declare it as a character array you can simply declare a string as a string type variable and you can um, manipulate strings so a it's a variable size dyna dynamically allocated array of bytes and uh, its syntax is string the variable name if you wanted to initialize you can in give the initial value as well there are a lot of inbuilt functions or methods associated with the string data type like dot length dot put c dot get c dot two upper dot two lower and so on um, but you might not be use them using all of them quite often in test bench coding but just understand that there are a lot of built-in functions and methods associated with the string type variable next is user defined data types apart from the built-in data types like integer real and string you can define your own data types so that is done by using type defs so here is an example type def reg uh, 7 down to 0 oct so this statement state says that so this this is a built-in data type reg 7 down to 0 uh, is a valid keyword is a valid system syntax syntax so by adding a type def to that you are saying that um, this particular word that is octet is now is of type res 7 down to 0 so once you added a statement like that you can declare a variable of this new type so this will be your new data type so like octet b so which is equal to res 7 down to 0 b so that is how you define your own data types and this will be very much useful when you define enumerations and structures you you might always wanted to add a type of keyword to enumerations and structures to make use them effectively in, in your program so here uh, here is an example for enumeration type of enum then list down all the tokens that you wanted to enumerate and give the enumeration value so this is exactly equivalent to that in c so once you define an enumeration like this you can declare variables of this type so here uh, type of enum red green blue yellow 
colors then after that you can declare variables of this color type so color c is equal to blue and uh, you can even print those variables variables and strings by default the enumeration value starts from 0 and increment by 1 here red will be equal to 0 green will be equal to 1 blue and so on but if you wanted to give specific values to this enumeration you can give like red equal to uh, 10 comma green equal to uh, 20 30 etc and one useful method associated with enumerated data type is the name method so after defining a variable of enumerated type so here example c is an enumerated type variable um, and after that if you call c dot name so we can call the dot name function along with the enumerated variable type so it will return the string value of that enumeration so for here example after assigning c is equal to blue when you call uh, c dot name it will return the, the string value of that enumeration which is equal to blue so you will print it will print as blue in this format if you if format it as a string here so this will be a useful uh, functionality of enumeration to printing debug messages into your log files next is structures unions and class these are not covered in this course as they are out of the scope of this course but just understand that this is how you define a structure and system will look like type def struct followed by the structure definition and unions are also similar union definitions are also similar like type def union followed by the union definition and a class is defined within a class and n class keyword in system will look.